all right so i'm going to make a video about account building and uh the first thing you're going to want to think about is which exchange to do this on and like the type of tool you might need to use that exchange um we're going to look at graphs and i'm going to order this graph from the best graph to sort of the second best graph to the worst graph so i'm looking at this 300 btc exchange here uh this is on cryptopia right and if i look at it on the coinage graph here you could just see perfect like super clear <laughs> i made a mistake on this coin i bought accidentally up here i didn't really mean to do that <clears throat> Um, that happens every so often, but you can really easily see like where you would buy and where you'd sell. Let me see if I can find a good trading. This was okay trade here. I think one really good trade was right here on ALL altcoin. Yeah, so I had some sick trades right here, um, big trades too. And uh, you can see um, most of the trades that I have are actually pretty good. Uh, there's one there. I, you don't get trades on every coin, but when you do get a trade, it's usually pretty good. I mean, <clears throat> that's pretty sweet. This one broke even there and took a little profit there. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I was talking about graphs. Like, the, the good graph here that you can see is very, very clear, easy to read. And if we go here, it's, like, pretty good. It's pretty easy to read. It's not perfect, but it's pretty dang good. <clears throat> yeah, you could sort of zoom in and see that the range that you're going to want to be trading in is between here and maybe about here, or even up to here. So, so this is the range. You could easily see that. And if I go here on the 300, uh, the same coin that we were looking looking at over here, beautiful chart. What the fuck is that? There's no way to see this chart. I mean, maybe this one, but barely. And this one, like, what the, I guess, bear, but you can, it's like, what, like, what's going on there, you know, like, you can't see what's happening, but here you can easily see what's happening, you know, <laughs> so <clears throat> that's why you want to be looking at, if you're using Cryptopia, you actually want to look at the coinage charts to use Cryptopia, you don't want to look at the Cryptopia chart, because it's really bad, so you're going to basically trade on coinage and what you do is there's like an api that you can like load in here and it does the trades right here there's a trade section you just do buy and sell so this is awesome <clears throat> anyway but for hipbit you can just use the site itself i mean look at this awesome graph here and then you get a list of all your trades and i was i just got these five trades in just like uh uh in the last hour that i didn't check them yet so i was gonna go through these because <clears throat> actually it's really nice to trade on Hipbit because, first of all, the chart's awesome. Let me just pause this video. I'm watching. My bad. One second. Um, so, again, you can see the chart here, and you can see all the trades just listed right here. So it's really easy to keep track of what you're doing. And um, also, you don't have minimums. On Cryptopia, there's a minimum, so you actually have to use... Uh, <laughs> You have to use a certain amount of Bitcoin to make the trade. So you have to use that amount. And if you don't get that amount, then you're stuck with the coin. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to have a certain amount to trade here, which, uh, you know, if uh, one really good reason to use minimums here to not have any minimums is so if you have a small account, you can just literally buy the smallest amount here um if we're making these trades let's go to gno i'm looking at the chart right here let's see i think i bought 15s and of course i'm gonna want to sell like 18s so let me just kind of put this up for sale at 18 and if it happens to go down to like 14 maybe i'll pick up a little more because let's see might also want to look at what's been happening yeah it's fine if i get to 14 how do i even do this uh price there we go 14 and uh i'll do uh <coughs> zero one okay um yeah 
What was I talking about? Um, oh, I have one of those too. I'll make this 13.5. All right. So basically what I'm doing is making tiny trades. I'm making really, really small trades and I have 150 trades up. So with 150 trades, um, in order to make a lot of trades every day, you have to have a lot of trades up. <laughs> All right. So you're probably going to get maybe 10%, maybe 20%. So like maybe I'll probably have like 15 to 30 trades every day. Like for example, <clears throat> yesterday was the 12th. Um, so let's count how many trades there were all day. All these trades, uh, from the 12th and we'll just skip the last few just because I was trading ethereum I come here I can uh, I can delete all that I start from one I had 50 trades yesterday so that's a third of my trades which is actually a huge number now realize that in order to make that many trades I had to have a lot of trades up so if you only have a small account then you need to make these trades really small right like a dollar or two dollars each or something um or you know up to five dollars or something like that so basically what you're trying to do is figure out which coins can you trade more often which coins are giving you the best trades so you make these small trades as testers like little testing trades if you make a successful trade on one coin often you do it a few times like for Huel here, I've done. I've traded this Huel coin a lot. <laughs> um, GNO. This is going to be the first trade that I have on GNO. As you can see, I only have one trade on GNO, so it's still really small. If I go to Oaks, O A X, I think I might have traded this before. But you know how good a coin is for you is how many times you can trade. So I've had one successful trade on this coin, so I doubled my amount. I was using 0.01F, which, uh, let's take a calculator, count 0.01F times 500. So I made a $5 trade on this coin successfully. How much profit did I make? 10 cents? <laughs> I don't know. But the point is, I successfully traded this coin. All right. So then the next time, instead of trading five dollars, I traded ten dollars. I put in two. So now instead of making ten cents, uh, let's see how much I actually made uh, from eleven fifty to thirteen or so. Whoops. How am I? What the hell? So fifteen percent on ten dollars. I think that's a dollar fifty or so. So. If I successfully trade this coin, I'll make a dollar fifty. Great. I actually almost okay. I just bought most of that, so um, I mean I'm cool there. I don't need to buy any more. And uh, that's two ten dollars worth. So yes, I'm gonna try to trade this at thirteen twenty five again. I think that would probably be just fine. I'll make it thirteen because I'm not greedy. Okay, so as you can see, I'm making a small amount on this trade. But if I successfully trade it again, then I'm going to double up. And then I'm going to put $20, and then I'll make $3 profit, right? Okay, so if I successfully trade that, I'm going to double up again. I'm going to make $6 profit next time. And then double again, and then make $12 profit. So you can see, you only want to be trading big numbers on those coins that you're successfully trading often. You don't want to just start with a lot of money at first. Because that's what I did at first. I was trading a few coins, putting in a lot, and uh, I would just lose a lot of money because I would lose the trades. <laughs> um, so I've been just testing with these tiny amounts to see which coins have been giving me the best trades. Uh, I think Seth has been the coin that I've been trading a bit. Let's go check it out. Uh, so I traded this like twice already. Um... And this would be the third time, so I went in pretty, like I went in 80 coins at this point. And uh, what did I get? I got 42s. I got down here at the bottom. And before I was selling at like 5, so let me, yeah, let me just kind of sell 5. I mean, it's 15% right there. So if I sell 5, 
There we go. So as you can see, if I make that trade, it's going to give me 0 0.006 Ethereum, which is uh, 0 0.006, I think 663 six, six, Ethereum or something. So times 500, I'll make a $3 profit. All right. <laughs> well, the point is you're not trying to make profits at first. You're trying to test which coins give you the best trades. So that way you could double up, double up, double up, and you start making more money on that one coin right and you sort of pick the best the golden nuggets out of all these coins if we go to cfi and and you know the the, the good purpose of small amounts is to just be successful you know you're trying to build uh, a track record a proven track record of successful coins not uh, not trying to make tons of money at first I'll sell these 18s here and these percentages are huge i mean if i can get if I can sell 18s, that's 25% right there. So that's awesome. And the last coin that was there was Huel. So let's go check out Huel. Whoops. H W. How the fuck do you spell it? H W L H L W. Huel coin. <laughs> um, and I bought fours here. This coin I traded twice already. I bought fours and sold fives or so wow it dropped all the way down here fuck man i wish i had more trades on this coin damn but no i picked up a thousand i'm gonna try to sell fives oh i could buy twos no i can't well i'm gonna try to sell fives <laughs> so let's see how how that works out and yeah we go back to one hour chart it's very important to look at this as a one hour chart so you can see what's going on um hmm. i'm gonna try to put up more orders down here i'll put up an order at like three And uh, like two, because I don't know. Uh, Twenty one, two oh five, something like that. So I don't know what's been going on down here, but uh, I want to try to have some orders down there. Great. So anyway, um yeah so if you have a very small account then the best idea would be to basically when you're trying to buy a coin uh you're going to probably stick with one of these two i would say stick with ethereum just because it gives you more chances of higher percentages so if you're working with just ethereum you're going to want to go through all the coins here on this list uh, in alphabetical order, we'll start from Z. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna start here, and uh, you're gonna look at a one-hour chart, and you're gonna zoom out, and you're gonna see this chart sucks. Right? <laughs> this chart is not a whippy chart. You're looking for whippy charts, charts with low volume that go up and down a lot. This just isn't that type of chart. Zapcoin is. And you could see if I zoom in here, you could really easily see like here this time to be trading this coin right around here would have been awesome. But now we're here. So it's kind of worse. It's kind of shittier. But it's okay. I'm trying to trade it anyway. I bought here. I'm trying to sell some. 25s, 35s, and 45s. I got a couple orders set up. All right. So all you got to do is set an order here at the bottom, and then that's it. You go to the next one. I'll see if I can find a coin that I haven't put an order for so I could show you what you would want to do if you have a small account. So here's a coin. Hmm. This would be okay to trade. You can see there's sort of like a 
level there. I mean, it's kind of weird. You don't really know what's the top and bottom. Kind of. Like, you could put some orders down here, and it would kind of work. But uh, let's just forget about that. Let's forget about that. If the coin doesn't look proper, it has to look really thin and just like really shitty looking. If it looks good, if it's looking, oh, that's a good chart right there. So this is just a, look at that shitty looking chart. Alright, so this is perfect. Um, you can see nice, like, areas to trade in. So you'd put some orders here. Maybe even down to here to 48, because <clears throat> you can see it's kind of doing a downtrend. Um, and a little sort of an uptrend there. So you could put an order here, definitely. So if you don't have a very large account, you're going to put the bare minimum. All right, we're going to get an order here at 5. All right, it's a good place to buy. So here we go at 5, and here... You're going to get the minimum trade. So you're going to go to zero, right? You're going to put your number here and you click plus one. Now, unfortunately, this quote, this coin requires you to buy 0 0.5, 0 0.05th, which is a lot. For my trades, I would usually start it at 0 0.01. So I'm actually going to skip this coin because I don't like minimum buys. Uh, I think it's silly. We could do this one here. Let's see if the percentages here are worth it and it's only two or three percent so we're not going to do that coin <clears throat> this coin on the other hand uh this coin is possible 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 uh hmm. um nah Zahar. This coin is also possible. So, if I were in this situation, probably want to, of course, you probably want to buy this bottom here, like 150. So, let's try to buy 150. <clears throat> 150. And again, we're going to go to zero and we're going to buy the minimum amount, okay? So, you're just doing tests on this coin. Actually, that's too small. <laughs> like, you just start with 0.01. Or 0 0.005, you know, it depends. You want to have enough trades up. How many trades do you want to have? <clears throat> 150, 100 to 150 to 200. Many hundreds of trades up in order to get a lot out of this. In order to have hundreds of trades up, you need to have, you know, one or two or three dollars on each one. And then you start focusing on the most important ones, the ones that you're trading like crazy. <clears throat> and then you can go through the rest that you're not trading, cancel them, and just focus on like the main ones that you're trading. So I'm going to put an order of 0.01 here at the 150. Super easy. I f that's the bottom. I, I figure that's the bottom. So there it is. <clears throat> Let's see if that goes through. Uh, you know, if I buy it, I'll sell it here at 80, 8, 118 or something, 18. Maybe I'll try to buy 14s just because it's possible that it'll go down there. But now I'm running low on Ethereum. I can only put up eight more trades. So I go to the next one, WRC. I don't like this one. This is a good chart. As you can see, we have a clear bottom here and a pretty decent top area so you can buy the 235s maybe 235 and i'll put in an order of zero one should be 40 coins put this in my favorites and continue through to the next one see simple as that I know it takes a while to get prepared with all this to understand what's happening and then to get started but it only takes you saw about 10 seconds there's sort of a good channel there i'm going to try to buy 35s um let's see if there's even a little good potential there um 
Let me go with 375. Let me just go with 350. 350. Boom. And if I can get 325, even better. Okay. So that was wax coin. Set down. So that wasn't too bad, was it? Next one. I'm looking for good coins. This one, uh, not too good. Nope. What qualifies as a good chart? Well, you'll see it when you see. You'll you'll know when you see it. You know. This one. So you can kind of see a clear bottom here and a clear topish area. Let's try to buy 26.5. Yeah, 26.5 would be just fine. Also, you confirm your decision, 26.5, by looking down here. <clears throat> 26.5 is about here. So it only has to go down a little bit. And here you get a point one. So you can get one man this takes a lot of ethereum i'm gonna skip it takes two and a half trades this one huh interesting wow <clears throat> those are 100 percent trades right there this thing is huge let me see if i can get some 750s 650s 750s let's see how much ethereum okay yeah that's fine and 650s and let me try to get let me get two yeah all right and i'll try to sell them for ones <laughs> i'm buying here and here i'm gonna try to sell it right here pretty easy and then just go like this go to the next one <clears throat> and you can see like you're kind of getting lucky in a way because this isn't gonna happen like all the time it might happen like one out of ten times that you might get this to happen <laughs> which is why you have to trade you know ten coins to get one trade uh so i'm gonna try to buy like 28s um i'll go with 27.5 i like to aim low but you don't have to you can aim reasonable Unfortunately, this takes <clears throat> a big amount to make this trade. The minimum bets, you see? And I don't like minimums. I want to make four trades, not one, you know? <clears throat> so I'm going to go and find one that doesn't have a minimum. Uh, let's just see what we got. I only have a little bit left. Hmm. This one looks alright. What kind of percentage is this? <clears throat> um, I don't know. Dang, this one looks good. Alright, this is perfect. Fine, let me see if I can buy... The 26.5. Should be fine. When was the last? If someone sells, fine. Let me try to buy 25s. Okay. No, 25 is all the way down there. If I get 26s, I might be able to get through here. So you see, I'm looking at this book to see if I put an order at 26, it's going to be right here. <clears throat> you only have to put in like 0 0.006 Ethereum, which is a pretty sad amount, before they finally knock off my order. If I go to 25, then it's going to have to drop down a full Ethereum. If I go any less than 26, it's going to be a little bit too much. <clears throat> so here's where I'll put in my, oops, my order of 0.01. Boom. And what happens if it goes hella lower? <clears throat> well, I don't care. Boom. Got that thing done. This thing, hmm, not enough. 
I've got three more trades left, as you can see from my 0 0.03 Ethereum. Uh, I'm already trying to trade that. <clears throat> my 47's here. God, such a bad number. Why am I trying to sell 55s? Every so often you have to go back <clears throat> into your coins and check them. Make sure you're not doing anything stupid. <laughs> In fact, here I'm going to sell for 48s. I'm just going to try to break even. If you ever have a bad trade, yeah, just try to break even or a little bit less. Remember, these are only pennies that you're trading, so <clears throat> it doesn't matter too much. Um, but uh, once you start making big amount of trades on a single coin, after you've traded it for many times, you know you'll understand like you know how to flip it through. Maybe I should try to get forties. Uh, we'll skip this coin. I'm not gonna trade it anymore. I don't like it. Don't like the percentages on that one. That one looks all right, actually. Hmm. Well, I guess if I can get no, not enough percents. Well, at least ten percent, fifteen percent. You know, I'm already trading those coins. Smart coin. Interesting. Okay, I'll trade smart coin. I'll try to get some 19s. 19, 20s, 19s. Uh, I'll put a 1 for 19. But again, you cry as minimums. Are you serious? Fine. No wonder I'm not trading any of these coins. Anytime a coin has a minimum, I just skip it. The fuck is this? Uh, hey, oh man. Uh, let's go to the next one. There's always another coin to trade. <clears throat> Scent. This looks kind of whippy. 5x4s. Can I sell 45s? Well, let's try it. Apparently, I don't have enough to buy any. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, eventually, uh, at some point, you kind of have to look back at your trades and just kind of consider what happened. This is a horrible trade right here. <laughs> I bought here, expecting it to jump up again, but instead it fell down to here. Mm. Probably attributing that to the rise of Ethereum. Well, eh. I could just sell it and just, or just leave it there, whatever. Let's see what happens on that one. I'm a little tired right now, so I don't really care too much. Now, <clears throat> this one, if I can get 205s, dude, holy shit. Or if I could even get like, yeah, let's just get some 205s, put 0 0.01 there, boom, and how about 22 fives, because that would be pretty sweet too, right? Got an order right here and an order down here, so those two might trigger, and then I'll sell like 26s or 20, yeah, like 26. That would be a perfect trade right there. Boom. And how much percentage is this? 20%. That's a perfect fucking coin right here. Amazing. Juicy coin. I'll bet I'll have tons of trades on this coin in the next few days. It's worth finding that coin. 
Now let's go find one last trade to put in. Actually, I'll keep that .01 just in case. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to end the video here on this coin. Now, I do want to just kind of... Uh, I know you've seen some pretty shitty trades happening, so I'm going to try to... Uh, just um, try to fix that perceptions. Try to get some good 25% trades and these 20% uh, trades and this massive 30% trade here. Like, it doesn't happen on every coin, but most of the time it's actually a pretty dang good trade. Like, out of all the trades I've had, I probably had like maybe maximum like 10 bad trades out of like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and maybe like 10 just a handful are bad because you put it down here and you sell it up there like unless the coin just fucking does some crazy shit sure you're probably gonna <clears throat> work out yeah i just barely missed that trade if i had sold 30 36 fives instead of 37s but whatever who cares it might go back up there again sometime here i'm just trying to buy more because <clears throat> it's all about just trading the ranges like you know it's been up here like so many times <clears throat> it likes to jump up so high so just drink some water shouldn't i jesus christ <clears throat> the cow's trying to drink out of the fishbowl it's not my cat, but he was trying to drink out of the fishbowl, and, um, and I was like, what the fuck, I was trying to stop him, and then I just, like, poured a bunch of water into a little bowl, and then he drank like crazy, he was drinking like crazy, I was like, damn, I was really thirsty, look at that trade right there, like, you can just see, like, the awesome trades that you can have here on these coins, and you just start, like, you just do it again, and you do it again, and you do it at 50%, trade right here damn so i just did it again and you just do it again and you do it again and you do it again and then um <clears throat> that's how you make a whole bunch of money <laughs> you just have to do it again and do it again do it again if you only do it once or twice yeah so I just broke even here. I didn't do those trades yet, but they're coming. <laughs> Damn. So this, I see this, and I'm like, well, I'm going to remove my order from this coin, right? I can't trade this coin anymore. It's unfavored. It. I can't trade that anymore. It's went crazy <laughs> this coin I might have to readjust my buy but I mean I think I'm okay for now I have to check back in a bit made another mistake here but whatever alright so hopefully you kind of get the picture of what's been going on here It's not about trying to cut a profit first. It's just trying to make successful trades over and over and over again on one coin, doubling up every time. And then that's how you could start to really find the best coins to trade. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Wait, copper? Yeah. All right.